What's up, people? This is Aeroplane 560, and my friend just fell off a high place and died, so it's not a good way to start um, a Let's Play, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, this is episode two, and today we're going to do like what I promised in the first episode. We're going to be talking about Arcane Stone, or Arcane Scrolls, I should say. That was the mod for it. So this is an Arcane Stone. As you can see, uh, now what we're going to do is craft ourselves the book that you need to actually start the mod. And it's basically where you do all of the crafting for the mod. Um, it's right here called the Arcane Tome. And to do that, you just get a book and surround it with four arcane stones. So I have four right here and I'm going to go back up to my base now and I'll be there in a second. So here we are coming back up on the base, and as you can see, I've made a fence of sugar cane. Now, I like to think that this keeps the monsters out at night, so I'm going to leave it. And we'll come in here, and we'll be able to craft our arcane tome. There we go. Now, when you open this, you'll see an interface here, and this is basically where you're going to be crafting all of your scrolls. So in here, you have all of your utility scrolls. Um... Next page, defense, offense, and here's your special scrolls. Now, you might be saying, what the heck is all this gibberish? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you don't have the right amount of experience level. So I talked about last episode, as you can see right now, my experience level is 16, but you need to have a certain level, enchantment level, to be able to craft each scroll. So if we go to the utilities, all of these, I think the highest... Uh, in this particular category is 15. That's That would be the unlock level. Um, no, looks like it's 13. So, yeah, that means that I am able to unlock any of the scrolls in here. So if we go to the next page, the same thing. These are all the highest in there is 15. And in here, see these, this means that I don't have the right enchantment level. So 15, I can unlock range, but all the other ones aren't. And I believe most of these are 20s and 30s, and all of the special scrolls are 50. So that is very, uh, wow, he keeps dying, doesn't he? <laughs> I hope he's okay. Um, yeah, all these require an enchantment level of 50, so. But what we're going to be interested in is the scroll of luminosity. So, what we can do is, if you see over here, this is where you write scrolls. So what you do is you'll go into the scroll that you want. And you have to be careful because once you ch once you click this, uh, it's going to take your levels away from down here. So I'll click uh, Luminosity. And as you can see, I just lost five levels. And that means that these I can no longer access because I'm below, I think it was uh, 13 for those two. So that's why I can't unlock them now. But now that I have Luminosity unlocked, it'll be in the right scroll section. And to write your scroll, you're going to need a quill and a blank scroll. Now to craft those, we're going to need... Um, I know I had some sugar cane. Lying around here. Did I just miss it? Another cool tip is uh, if you double tap down here, double click on the box... As you're searching something, you, it'll highlight it in your inventory. So there's our sugar cane. Um, okay, let's make some paper. All right, that should be plenty. And you just cut that in half. And we have some unwritten scrolls. Then uh, before you saw, I got those ink sacks. And then I know I have some feathers. Quill is just shapeless. You just put the ink sacks in there and you get some quills. So there we go. Now we go back into our book, and if we go to the right scroll section, you can see we have uh, these these objects in our uh, interface here uh, where you're ready to craft something. So we'll just click the scroll, and as you can see, it's highlighted over here, so then we just choose the amount we want. And now every scroll that you do costs one quill and one actual blank scroll. So let's just make one right now. So now we have you'll hear that noise and we'll have the scroll of luminosity now when you make a scroll you'll see when you highlight over it that it has an ae cost now the ae cost is the charge that 
the scroll takes up when you use it. So the scroll of luminosity has an AE cost of 10. Now, in order to access the AE, you actually need to make a uh, arcane pouch, which is um, where is the arcane pouch? There it is. So to make an arcane pouch, it's simply an arcane stone around six pieces of blue, uh, six pieces of wool. Sorry, six pieces of wool, and that'll get you an arcane pouch. Now, what you do with the arcane pouch is that's where you're gonna store all of your AE. So as you can see right there, AE zero. Now, to put more AE in there, you just need to put in arcane stones. And it's actually really easy to put arcane stones inside of, inside of a pouch. All you need to do is have the pouch in your hand and right-click with your arcane stones in your inventory. And your arcane stones will automatically go into the pouch, and you'll have that AE from uh, the stones that you've got. And every stone gives you 100 AE, so... Yeah, it's pretty easy to get a lot of AE built up in there because the arcane ore is pretty easy to find, so you'll get those stones, and you can just keep replenishing the pouch. And the good thing about the Scroll of Luminosity is that what this one does is it acts as a substitute for torches. So when you right-click with the Scroll of Luminosity, it'll automatically place a torch down. And that zombie is being really annoying, so I'm going to take him out. And it's only going to attract more. Yeah, there's been a lot of mobs out here. I'm going to need to light this up better. And there's a creeper. So I'm going to give up. <laughs> At least they're not making any noise now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, I can't. There we go. That should work. So, anyway, um... Yeah, I'm going to need to get an arcane pouch, and then I can actually show you how the scroll works. So, I'm going to do that off camera, because I don't think I have any wool on me. Uh, yeah, there's none in there. And there's none in there. So, yeah, I'm going to go get some wool, and I'll be back when I can make an arcane pouch. Okay, I think that should be enough. Boy, I really like how this sugar cane looks around my house. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's make that recipe so we're gonna need an arcane stone which i put them all the way i was worried about dying especially losing this bad boy so let's see you and you and there we go we have an arcane pouch now take our arcane stones and we just right click and boop they disappear and as you can see we have 600 charges now so let's get out that scroll of luminosity where did we put him there it is. Whoops. There it is. Okay, we'll take that out. And now uh, we can wait it to go for it to go uh, dark, or we can just go into. Yeah, it looks like it's getting dark already, actually. So let's just. Yeah, let's just get. Okay. We're going to need to light up this place a little bit more. So we're going to use the scroll. So right now we have 600, and we'll just place it down. And you'll hear that noise, and then we have 590. So, yeah, you can get quite a lot of uses out of this scroll. As long as you keep finding that stone around, you can you can just keep using this thing. And it can really light up. Uh, I mean, it's just a torch, so <laughs> whatever. But yeah, that ore is pretty common, so it's a really nice, uh, really nice scroll to have. Because you're basically not wasting your coal on... Lighting places up, you can just use these things, which is nice. So now we're pretty lit up. We have a better radius, so mobs aren't going to get us as easily as they did before. So that's good. Um, you can also use this caving, and the good thing about it is when you go caving, you're pretty much always going to find more arcane stone. So as long as you keep finding arcane stone, you can keep using the scroll, and you'll basically never run out of torches that way. Now, the only downside to arcane scrolls is that when you use a scroll <clears throat> it destroys it and you need to make it again so if you want to make like a uh, an offensive scroll what per se uh, where's that book i think i left it in here there it is uh let's say you made you wanted to make the scroll of frost which costs uh, level 10 so i could actually make that one too but I'm not going to because I'm saving all my levels for uh, 
some of the special scrolls. But let's say you made this one, and so you have your uh, you have your you have your scroll, and you also have the right amount of AE because you have your pouch. Uh, however, once you use the scroll, once you right click and activate, so it'll freeze any anything uh, within. I think it's a 16 block radius. Uh, they can still move, but they and jump, or they, they can jump, but they can't move. Uh, that's actually a pretty powerful one if you're getting cornered by like a horde of zombies or something. You can just freeze them all and then run away. But the only problem is once you use that scroll, it will disappear. And you either have to have another one in your inventory or, or you'll need to make another one. So that's the good thing about the scroll of luminosity, obviously, is you don't have to make... 64 like a stack of scrolls of luminosity you, it just takes up the ae charge which is nice i believe that's the only scroll that does that all of the others require you to make uh like sets of the scroll of the same scroll so if you wanted to use like the oblivion scroll like which is the one i talked about in the first episode uh the oblivion scroll just uh kills everything within a 16 block radius like instantly just death uh if you want to use that one i think that costs 100 charges to use and once you use that the scroll disappears and you'll need to make it again now every time you make a scroll mind you it doesn't actually use your levels once you unlock it from here it's available in right scrolls and you don't need to spend your levels again to get it so that's that's the good thing so if i wanted to make a special scroll i would unlock it at level 50 and then if i wanted to make another another one of the same the same uh, scroll that I already used to unlock there, I could just get it from here. I wouldn't have to pay 50 levels again. Now, if I wanted to get a different scroll, I would. So there is a benefit to unlocking it, and you want to choose wisely which scroll you're going to unlock, level 50, because it takes a very long time without cheats to get there. This is awesome. That's all I got to say. Well, the blocks that FTB server for all those who are wondering. <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're going to pick up our buddy g me in. Hell, we're going to take a trip back to my house. I'm stuck on this peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an SOS? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need help. Let's see. Hey. Let's see. Five. Let's see. 505. I don't need no 505. Come back. <laughs> No. <laughs> and for those of you watching my live show, that is the man Carl. Yes, he's flying a hot air balloon, a square hot. Oh air balloon. God! He's coming in. Oh, is he gonna? Here we go. Oh, watch out for the sugar cane. Oh, oh I can't go. Oh, I can go through them. Good. Through the sugar cane. I was scared for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What up? We made it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> you found my SOS. I did. I found it right here. I think I want to go on a uh, a trip to your house in the hot air balloon. Do you give free rides? I do give free rides. It's your, it's your lucky day. Wait, look at this thing, guys. Seriously, how cool is this? You have to, you have to <sighs> tell them about what happens, though. It's kind of scary. If you're the passenger. What, the rider? passenger. <laughs> So for the for the passengers of the hot air balloon, they're in for a little bit of a rough ride. It's it's a pretty glitched out mod. I mean, he'll be okay. It'll look like he's fallen out, but he's he's still with us. So basically, we're gonna take a trip trip back to my house. Yeah. If you ever, oh god, hold on. Just right click. Let me change the tunes. Oh, really go. I'm gonna get off my intro music. So it starts off as a pleasant ride, but there's a trap door of sorts in the hot air balloon, and you kind of fall into an acid trip. So, well, that's so do, I, go. do I disappear on your screen too? Yeah, you like disappear. It's crazy, <laughs> but you keep coming back. It's strange. On my screen, I just fall into like an endless void, and then I uh -huh. I can only land. Or I can only get out when you land, otherwise I die, I fall. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh there he goes. Fell. Goodbye. <laughs> but I'm still oh, now you're here. I'm right? still in there though. It's weird. You just it's it's weird, you keep going back. It's it works fine for the driver though, so that's all that matters. Yeah, but yeah what you're about to be seeing is my uh, my F T B base. I actually just go. finished recording a uh, episode two for the F T B series on Block Zen. Um hope you guys enjoyed episode one. We had a fun time with that. 
Um, so I got another episode of this, and that should be going up probably really late tonight. Ears on, and uh, have a good time watching some some good old man car FTB. Some of the stuff you'll be seeing, I had. So this is my base. I'm uh, I'm living in this great wood tree. Pretty exciting stuff, really. Wait, are we there yet? Uh, come, yeah, we're here. Well, hold on. Let me let me wait, cause I'm just gonna still just falling little, in the no Alright, let's try to land this. Not too close to the house again. I'm looking at like the light at the Back. end of the tunnel. That's all I can see. It's just a void. Alright, let me hold on, let me I need to get a good parking job in here. Oh, I can see it on your uh on your Twitch feed. Yeah, you can watch it on the stream. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But anyway, to those of yeah. you watching my Let's Play, uh, you can check out the man Carl's YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description. He's a really cool guy. Okay, we're here. <laughs> and I just fell out of it, and we're back to reality. Yes, we're here. So yeah, here is, uh, you'll, you'll see this in the episode I'm going to be putting up, like I said, probably like 3 a.m. or so today. But um, this is my new base. We're living in this tree, so we got a little bit of a ladder coming up here into my bedroom. So we got some nice little stuff up here. I don't want to sleep. Just kidding. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sleep really quick. I don't think I'm gonna. Because you got this really, you got this really cool mod that uh, it allows the server to pass the night if only half the server is sleeping. So that works. I made this cool lamp today. That's very cool. <laughs> but yeah, you'll you'll see all this in my my new episode. We go to the Nether. It's a blast. We go hang out with G Man, who you should definitely go check out. <laughs> of course. But yeah, definitely watch that. It's it's a good time. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, that's about all there is to here. I don't know if you want to say anything else. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. <laughs> that's sad that you don't have a launch pad for your, uh, your flying machine. Yeah, dude, they should, they should make something for that. I mean, I think the mod is still being heavily worked on, but... Yeah, <laughs> I think that's going to wrap on my Let's Play, too, as a matter of fact. <laughs> So, I see you do your clothes out thing. <laughs> this is Aeroplane, and I'm taking off now. See ya.